Howdy, Lurtite. Today, I have a couple reveals. Um, one you can't see is a new mount. They finally, uh, GoPro finally got shit figured out. So that you can mount it to a helmet. Uh, well, a side mount, depending on, you know, how the... I think I talked about it in another video, but... And a uh, seat concept seat. So, don't get off the bike. Ooh, pretty. Pretty stitching. Orange. <laughs> so, it... I got, I got the normal size seat. Like the normal height one. Because I was worried this is pretty tall. And now... It's it's even harder to get on the bike, but it's gripper. It's uh, on the, this is grippy, and quite a bit more grippier than the more grippier than the uh, visor. <laughs> um, uh, so it is. It makes it a little taller and makes it a little harder to get on the bike. But so we're I'm out with Mrs. Lurch. And, uh, ugh, sorry, I just, uh, I just had you in my mouth. Sorry. <laughs> no, I was moving the mic around with my, the mic around with my tongue, so. So we're actually there on the bike. That's Annabelle. And you've seen Annabelle before and Mrs. Lurch. Excuse me. And they're on the other bike, the slow bike. And uh, we're trying to run our dog, Gus. Gus is a handful and he needs exercise or he's crazy. So he won't follow me if... If Mrs. Lurch is, uh, is at the house. So we're all going together. And, uh, isn't Annabelle cute on a bike? It's awesome. Makes me cry. Um, and also I wanted to do, um, I was told that I needed to do a video about, um, 10 questions and I have my phone in this little tank bag thingy for a map. I think that's what that's for. But, uh, ten questions for ADV riders, I think. Um, so that's what I'm. That's what I'm doing. And I'm wearing loafers or slippers. So I hope I hope I don't fall. I don't think so. Lady, the ladies go slow. Mr. Gus does not. Um, so, number one, when did adventure motorcycling initially catch your eye? What reason for it initially? Huh? What was the reason for why it initially caught your eye? So, I had had I I I had a bike in high school. I think I've told my mic is annoying me. There, made this better. Um, initially, I'd had, I think I explained all this before, but I'd had a bike in high school, a little 82 Maxim 750, and, uh, and then I sold it, and then I didn't have a bike for a long time, and then I bought a V-Strom 1000, uh, thinking that I could, it's supposed to be kind of, they sell it as an ADV bike, a cheaper ADV bike, but it's not, it's, the geometry on how you sit is like a street bike. So when you stand up, it's just, it's just, after I've ridden dirt bikes a lot now, it, uh, the, 
V-Strom is odd. And I don't know, the, the new one might be better. This was an older one, it was an 07. So it was kind of the first generation, kind of. Um, so I had that and I, I did a few off-road type adventure stuff. I did a forest road, like a mountain pass forest road called Grey Creek Pass on it. It was okay, I couldn't go fast or really have much fun on it. Um, it really sucked on gravel. It, uh, I never felt confident and maybe I never, maybe I just didn't know what I was doing on gravel, I don't know. I just know that a dirt bike is so much better and I, I think it has to do with the 21 inch front tire, so. I think 21 is is the is kind of the gold standard or whatever for ADV bikes. If it's not 21, it's not really an ADV bike. Um, I did uh, so yeah. Then I had a DRZ and I had a, that TW, and I kind of got into dirt bikes and I had an XR 650R, and I really liked. Um, the dirt bike kind of stuff so I and I wanted something that would go anywhere and be on the highway all right so then I bought this and this one's not really an ADV bike because it's not really a tour I could turn it into a tour spend some more money on it turn it into more of a tour but it's not really I mean, it doesn't have a bunch of fairing and, and that but I uh, back to the question sorry guys um, I I didn't want to watch the video, Tyler's video, so I could think of my own ideas or not. And I, so I watched a little, but I watched a little bit of it. And he said he watched all. I remember him saying he watched all way or long way around. And I watched long way around, but I had a bike already when I watched it, um, and it was cool. And I, I liked. I kind of appreciated the BMW, I guess. After that. Um, but I rode one last winter in Phoenix, and it was, it was I was on like an intermediate dirt, like side-by-sides, and you know, it's pretty easy to go on. It's just kind of, and it was a lot of bike. It was a lot of bike for that. Where, where something like a dual sport or this bike would it'd be a breeze, you know, and it was, and I couldn't paddle because I, I'd stick my leg out to steady myself and bang my shit on the damn head sticking out. And that's a BMW thing, I think. So I don't know, I kind of like the, the smaller ADB bikes. The Africa Twin, Mr. CDS, the Africa Twin is pretty well. And the, and the new KTM 1090 I'm interested in. I don't know what the price difference will be between the Africa Twin and the 1090. Now that I've had a KTM, I kind of I'm curious about KTM, so um, we'll see. Number two, why do you ride? What feelings does it bring to you personally? So I didn't ride this summer much. I mean, as much as I wanted, I didn't get anywhere out far away. I tried to figure out how to get down to St. George or down to Salt Lake or Provo or something and ride with Tyler, but it didn't work out. But I went, I went down to Yellowstone anyways, but I didn't take the bike. Um, and I, I like the freedom. And I, I like riding with people, but I also kind of like riding solo. Um, it's kind of a, kind of a, I don't know, I don't want to say lone wolf. That's kind of weird. But uh, just doing your own, on your own adventure, relying on yourself. Um, is kind of kind of neat. So let's skip. What qualifies a ride and as, as an adventure? I I would say personally, um, probably a week as an adventure. Um, I guess three to three days to a week is an adventure. Um, smaller than that, I don't know, it's kind of just a day trip or weekend or whatever, I think you need to miss work and you need to, you know, I don't know. So, I'm a hand talker. Hi. Hi, Annabelle. So, are we riding somewhere? 
Let's, let's go in the field. Gas! Come on, Gas! Gas! Um, so yeah, the other, uh, what the heck is the next question? What are your thoughts on lightweight adventure motorcycles versus a heavier bike? There is a right or wrong answer to whatever you... Th oh, is there a right or wrong answer? A heavier bike is okay for long road trips. Mostly road, gravel roads, things like that. A heavier bike is, is fine. It's, it's more stable. You can haul more stuff. So maybe a year... You know, I don't know. Maybe a, a year uh, or a circumnavigation or... Whatever. What about half a percent of the population of riders actually get to do? But that's just a guess. Don't quote me. Um, but l lighter bikes, lots let you do more. They're more practical. They let you do more dirt. Um, I don't know. Not everybody lives near anything dirt where they to ride on. Lots of guys live in this in this city and they have to ride a long ways. Like I can ride and get some stuff you'd only want to do on a dirt bike right close and I, but I have to ride like an hour or so to get anything you'd only want to do on a dirt bike. Um, but I I have to ride anything that with fun road stuff I have to ride three hours to get anywhere close to anywhere that's fun road. It's all just straight and boring. Really boring. So, well, that's where cruise would be nice too. Yeah, cruise on a big bike. But, oh, uh, so lighter bikes. I like lighter bikes better unless you're going far away. And you just want mostly road. The, you want to maybe get yourself out of trouble if you need. You want the capability. But those big bikes, for most people, are just they're not very dirt worthy. They're just a lot of work and a lot of stress. And if you're by yourself, if you were on an adventure by yourself with a big one, that would be stressful. You would fall, you know, you crash it and it's down. See, if lot, if you did, if it falls down down a hill what do you do i guess you brief it around and try and pick it up but if you're by yourself that's could be bad news so i'm long-winded guys sorry well i just said what are some of the dangers that come with adventure riding if you're by yourself and you're out doing stuff hermit Oh, but it's on now. Yeah, okay. He doesn't want to follow you. Huh. Yeah. Um. Yeah, if you... If you get in over your head on a big bike or whatever, on any bike, if you get in over your head, you uh, can get in trouble. That's that, Those are the dangers. Um... Well, adventure riding, even if you're with, if you're with guys that are higher skill level and you want to, you don't want to show, you know, you want to be brave or whatever and you crash and, and die, well, that's some of the dangers too. 